game is getting entirely too simple for you. Oh, I see. You're going to quit on your champion. <laughs> yes, it is, Mr. Sunday. I'll get you more films. I'd like to get you alone. Do you mind if I cut you out of the picture, girl? Oh, of course not, Penelope. Oh, thank you. But well, you can find you ever since we left New York. Lovely. That fellow Fleming seems to be doing all right. Yeah, what's he got that I haven't got? A father with a million bucks. Guess it's this. I could be allergic to work, too, if I had someone to finance a permanent vacation. Where are we? Well, I don't know. Uh... Oh, Stuart, what point is this? We're on the leader, sir. Did we stay here long? Two hours. Mm -hmm. Just to stop. Thank you. Rosalita. Rosalita. Notice for a terrible maid Mate is a tea made from the toasted crushed leaves of an evergreen tree flung to the holly family, which grows wild. Oh, it uh, grows wild in the immense forest tracts and has also been intensely cultivated for export to foreign countries and more recently to the United States, where it is finding increasing favor. Oh, well, yeah. Rosalinda Mocky is said to have a stronger aroma and more pleasing taste than. Hardly wait. Uh, we had time to visit all the quaint little gift shops. Uh, well, don't you think we'd probably have more time to do that on the return trip? Well, there's no extra charge to see the scenery twice, you know. That's the trouble with these pleasure cruises. They give you too much for your money. I've got scenic indigestion already. Mm, but this is such a quaint little place. It'll be 20 days quainter when we get back. Do you always procrastinate? Well, if I can postpone it. Oh, Mr. Fleming, you're just priceless. Have a question for you. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's going on. Aren't you going ashore, Mr. Fleming? I believe I will. Good. You've changed your mind. I'll get my hat and meet you again, but... I'll keep my eye open for you.
pleasant surprise, senorita. Again, we meet by chance. Yes, again they meet my son. Oh, you know my daughter. Oh, yes, indeed. It was the accident I told you about, father. Ah, <laughs> But so far, we haven't been properly introduced. This is Senor Fleming, my daughter, Valisa. Now, I hope that makes everything perfectly proper. <laughs> what could be more proper than having a gentleman introduced by one's own father? You are in the Rosarito on business? Yes. A combination of business and pleasure. I hope you will like it here. I'm sure I will. Uh, Senor Fleming has just said that he thinks that the quality of our mate is the best that he has ever tasted. It is by far the very best. Father has waited for a long time to settle your country. Oh, there's no question about it in the United States. They'll love it. It has um, uh, such a delicious uh, okay. Senor Fleming, I must talk to you about this further. I said. Uh, just uh, just what they're saying. Oh, very interesting.
I am able to buy everything I want on my own terms. Then I'll take care of the demand. And a good profit. Yes, sir. And while you're waiting for the growers to meet your terms, a buyer has already arrived in the United States. What is that you say? A Mr. Richard Fleming from New York. He's here now in Rosarito. What? He's already bought and done the gill. At what size? Plenty of space sold the boat. Why, that's double what I pay. That's just what I've been trying to tell you. Voy a preguntar a ver dónde ponemos la hierba. que está dentro dice que pongamos la hierba en el cuarto número 6. ¿Qué? ¿Quiere decir que pongamos todas estas bolsas de hierba en el cuarto de un hotel? En el cuarto número 6. ¿Pero a quién se le ocurre eso? ¡Esta señora está... ¡Seis! ¿Cómo vamos a poner estas bolsas en el cuarto, cuarto número 6? Ah, bueno, cuarto número 6. ¡Abajo! When I buy a taxi, huh? When I sell my taxi, I bet you I'm going to sleep for three months. You know, if I had 600 pesos, I bet you I'd give it to you all at one time. Then I own it right away. <laughs> mm. And I bet you it's going to be, I got 50 grandchildren before you pay me. <laughs> all right, I bet you. Oh, save your money. Well, already I give you 60 pesos, and today I'm going to give you whatever I make. You know what I say? You don't pay me 600 pesos before La Fiesta de San Jacinto? I keep all you pay in my taxi, too. Yeah, yeah, I know you say that. But all the same, I'm gonna buy your taxi shoes. Yeah, just like you say, you catch three fish all at one time. <laughs> well, sure I can. How you catch three fish? All on one hook? Well, anyway, I do it. There is room enough on one hook for three fish? It's a big hook. It's a big lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you true. Oh, all the time you dream too much. <laughs> Are you left alone? You, Roberto, what are you doing? Fifty centavos, please. Fifty centavos? What for? For a boat of this one motorcycle. You switch that it is. And I said you not to go so fast. Please, you broke one table and three chips. And for this two, you won't break your neck. I don't break motorcycles. I go slow like you tell me. Hmm? Sure, I tell you true. You clever. All the time, tell me a horror. This is all the La Paloma quick. I tell him I am sorry. I cannot go fast because my mother is too long for me to break my neck. As we said. She's telling me go fast, go fast. He's in a hurry, huh? Oh, yes. I asked him why he said to be hurried. He's in all the most beautiful thing that he says waiting for me. I must get that quick. Very quick. And due to my unusual bravery and amazing sense of balance used by thousands of wheelbarrow races, I was able to maneuver the sidecar right up to the thing you needed to the very spot where it seems I was going. 
It was a miracle. No matter what happened, Rebecca was never to blame. Papa would be very proud of him. Very. Oh, his father was also a man of great chivalry. Papa, he was the biggest liar in Nero Rico. Well, Roberto, I've got 20 days on my hands. Do you think between us we could drum up another little adventure? Maybe you need dice. Well, that's a very good idea. The price is right. How about a dollar a day? Oh, senor. No, I know I'm going to own that taxi, sure. Taxi? Si, sí, senor. I'm just going to buy my world taxi. It costs 600 pesos. Already, I think, just before. Only 536 more to go. See? Si. Ah, uh, that's going to be easy. It's going to be easy enough, senor. Now that you're my guy, do you think you could guide me to that beautiful senorita I met yesterday? I do not think you can meet senorita. You do not know her father. Well, I didn't have any trouble yesterday, now did I? Remember, you guided me right up to her table. Oh, yes, I know, senor, but that was an accident. Well, I'm not particular. Let's have another accident. I don't know. Say, with that imagination of yours, anything might happen. Even a miracle. Yes, sir, with three weeks on my hands, I sure ought to go to town. Senorita only comes to town not too many times. Well, if the mountains won't come to Muhammad, Muhammad will go to the mountains. Yes, senor. Well, Skipper, everything's ship Si, senor. Away, Anchor, and we'll set sail for uncharted sea.
just who does that guy think he is? Senor Coma. He comes here all the time. He buys matches from Tommy Hill. Oh, so that's how he rates the front door. See, Tommy Gales will much much. He goes so much, he don't know what to do with it. You don't say. Why didn't you tell me this before? No, I can't. Skipper, this hot thing interests me strangely. I think I'll have a talk to Don Miguel about it. You mean you're going to buy Marty? I said I was going to talk about it. Come to think of it, Marty is becoming my chief interest in life. Oh, why you don't tell me? You know what? If you buy Marty's from Don Miguel, you're going to sell it to you very cheap, I bet you. Price is no object for land. Or well, for that matter, it's the Marty. Oh, senor. That's going to make Don Miguel very happy you buy his Marty. And my friends who work here, too. And uh, maybe so you're going to be telling it, huh? You catch on pretty fast, Roberto. Buenas tardes, Roberto. El señor Fleming viene a hablar con Don Miguel respecto al mar. Está bien. You don't need me anymore, señor? I think I can spare you now, Roberto. Okay, I'm going to see my friend Pedro. Por aquí, señor. Señora. Señora. Hey. I should like to see Senor Fleming. Senor Fleming? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, what? That's it. Roberto, Mrs. Ramos, Roberto. Say, how long is this going on? Now get out of here and stay out. The next guy that comes in here is going to get this right in his face. Oh. Thank you, pardon. I thought you were a sack of mafia. I, I am Alexander Coma. I apologize. I, I'm terribly sorry I did it. Nothing. I've been trying to keep these fellows from playing soldier, but they're determined to barricade my room against an air raid. I want you to sit down. Thank you. You did not think I would discover your secret so soon. Oh, have you? Yes. No longer necessary to hide it in your room. Oh, that. Well, I hope not. You see, I am in the Mati business too. And for a very long time, here is what I Good. I'm looking for a customer. You want to buy this, I'll make you a very good bargain. I'm afraid you have already ruined the market price in Rosa Rica. Have I? How unfortunate. I have worked very hard for many years to establish what is a fair price. It would be so much better for both of us if you would go elsewhere. Yes? Well, uh, I don't like to be pushed around. So, so you are going to remain in Rosa Rica? Oh, sure. I like it, yes. I think it's very attractive. You are determined to stay. Maybe we can, what you call in your country, play a little ball. No. No, no, no. I don't mean it literally. Oh, I think I get you now. You mean about the, uh, precisely. But come to think about it, wouldn't that be a combination in the plane of trade? You know, the Sherman Antitrust Law. Oh. You make a joke with me? I was never more serious in my life. I'm sorry we don't see these matters eye to eye. I think you are a little stupid. I think you're a big chiseler. That is an insult. Oh, it's not so hot. I could do a lot better if I gave it some thought. Oh. You want to play, huh? Thank you. 
You get good news, no? Yeah, good news, no. Oh. Well, I know. You're going to get all the matzo you want. Ah, uh, but this is enough for the moment. I'll find some place to put the rest of it. Okay, I'll fix you up. Hello? Your New York call is ready. Hold on, New York. Go ahead, Mr. Fleming. Hello, Harry. Harry, listen. How are all the girls down in South America? Because he doesn't want his father to know. Yeah, I can understand that all right. Yeah, and is he sorry at you? What do you expect me to do with this stuff? Throw it out the window at the next ticket tape parade? Well, uh, would it make good fodder for my polo ponies? Why don't you burn it up? Hold the phone. He can't burn it up. Everybody will think he's an imposter. They expect him to ship it. Huh? Uh-oh. I knew there was a girl in it somewhere. He wants the girl to think he's an imposter. Huh? Oh, importer, not imposter. Hey, Dick, I got a great idea. We'll get Elsa Maxwell to stage a Boston tea party. Yeah, how do you like that? Hello. Hello, Dick. Hey, Dick. Hey. He hung up. What do we do with this stuff, whatever you call it, anyhow? Well, why not ring up Carol Young? He deals in coffee and cocoa and tea and all that junk. Tell him we're giving him a break. Yeah, and what a break. Miguel, pretty lucky, huh? Sick. I got too much matter myself. I sure like to have fortune spied on me the same way. Ah, I fixed that for you like I fixed for Don Miguel. And your Fleming say he's gonna buy all the Mattei and Rosary. Oh, you know? I hear him say that. Oh, he sure go to the town with Senor Coma. He tell him ten things or two. He's gonna take all he can get and more too. And pay big price. See, this is good. If he buys our mate, this will be one big thing for Rosarito. Senor Fleming do big thing for us? I think we do big thing for him. Next week is La Fiesta, no? Yeah. And Senor Fleming is a hero? Yeah. Then I think maybe on Fiesta Day we give him one big bump. With speech. Si. Tendremos que hacer algo grande. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Cinco. Don't do that to the car. What's the matter with you? Five hundred and thirty more pesos, and she is mine. You don't forget. You only got till La Fiesta de San Jacinto. You remember what we said? Ah, oh, Fiesta's not till next week. You don't worry. No, I don't worry. Mañana's another day. <laughs> Please, mañana's another day. <laughs> Well, you want me, senor? Why, yes. Roberto, I need your advice. Now tell me, in your country, when a man wants to make a hit with a beautiful senorita, how does he go about it? I mean, what does he do? Why, he, uh, he serenades her.
would that I were a glove upon thy hand, that I might touch thy cheek. You all right, senor? I don't know, Roberto. I'm afraid I have broken my guitar. You're hurt, senor. Deeply, deeply. <laughs> es una linda mañana, senorita. Roberto, you do not teach your friend so good Spanish. He says it's a beautiful morning. When the moon is shining brightly. Oh, is there a moon tonight? A muy grande moon. And I see you're not going to waste it. It's just for riding, aren't you? Roberto, tell Pedro to saddle a horse for senor. Si, senorita. Shall we? Why not? Oh, 
Say, what's this all about? I don't understand. Oh, senor, you are a hero, no? Oh, this is one great day of the week, senor Fleming. Stupido. Oh, senor Fleming. Oh, Miguel. Juanita. For you, senor Fleming, the seat of honor. Oh, thank you, thank you. But what's all this fuss about? I mean, what have I done? Well, you do not know. Surberto. El senor is very modern. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Agradecida lo saluda y entrega este precioso mate y bombilla con adornos de oro. My friends, I'm I'm deeply honored, but uh, I don't know why you're honoring me. But I'm overcome to find an American given such a reception in such... After all, this is America too, isn't it? There's been a lot of talk about uh, uniting the goodwill of North and South America. But have we really done much about it? I'm afraid not. That gives me an idea. What we should do is to get better acquainted. Do more trading with each other. Unite the goodwill of our people and really put America on the map. I thank you. Oh, Richard, your feet are the wonderful. My heart is filled with happiness. And it should be, as you say, our two countries must combine with goodwill and understanding. Yes, Senor Fleming. What you have said about our mutual trade has given the Rosarito cause for great rejoicing. All of our growers have united into one organization, and they have authorized me to say to you, that all the mate that we have to sell, we will sell only to you. Mate. Salud, Salud. 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 Don Miguel, I didn't just... What made you think that... Oh, I've got to talk to you alone. Juanita, excuse us. Don Miguel, I don't know how to say this to you. I'm afraid I'm on the spot. What do you mean, amigo? On the spot? Well, your kind people have gone overboard in making me a hero. Ah, uh, you proved yourself a friend. You see, my stay here in your beautiful country has been misunderstood. Actually, I know nothing of this party you grew. What you say, I do not understand. Roberto has said that... Oh, I don't know what Roberto has said, but whatever it is, it's sure to be an exaggeration. But you have come to me yourself and buy it from me. I'd like to explain that to you. See, the mate I bought was all I intended to buy. As a matter of fact, I had no use for that. Still, I do not understand. Don Miguel, I first saw your daughter in the cafe. And I was anxious to be introduced to her folks. I think 
understand now. Adios, senor. Juanita, we go now. But, Father, why do we go so soon? Please. ¿Qué ha pasado con Miguel? El señor Fleming no va a comprar nuestro mal. No, ¿y por qué? Ese hombre es, es un estafador. No puede ser un... Juanita. Señor Fleming. Señor. ¿Es algo que le pasa, señor? No creo que haya, Roberto. Estoy en un mes. Hello, Skipper. Say, will you take care of my hotel bill for me? Here. Whatever's left over is yours. Yes, sir. Mr. Watson, Watson, I make so much trouble for you. Forget it, Roberto. It's all my fault. Oh, no, no. I, I hope what you say got the wrong slant. I go to the wrong town. You better run along now, Roberto. You go on boat when she come back, huh? I'm afraid so. I feel sorry that you make bad friends with Senorita. I think you feel pretty bad about that. And I bet she's gonna feel bad about that, too. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I tell her it's all my fault. Then she's gonna like her again, huh? Oh, no, Roberto. It's a lost cause. Well, maybe it'd make you feel good if we take a riding motorcycle and see the country. You'd like to go to a rubber plantation, huh? Hey, wait a minute. What do you want me to do, take home a rubber plantation, too? No, Roberto, it looks like I won't need you anymore. No more guy? No more guy. Boom. I'll call my taxi. You get the plane in San Rafael. How do I get there? We arrange for you to go in auto. It is only 40 miles. Would you be kind enough to tell the person on the boat of my change of plans? Certainly, senor. Thank you. I tell you, I know it worked out this way. I always say you dream too much. Well, anyhow, I give you 70 pesos. Anyhow, you know what I say? Yeah, I know. I don't pay you all of it yesterday. You can keep all of the money. And the taxi too. Well, what do you think? That's what I'm gonna do. That's all right, Manuel. You good sport. You keep your word. Sure, Manuel always keep his word. <laughs> Oye, Manuel, I have fare for you. Do you want to go to San Rafael? Si, si. It seems that Senor Fleming will not buy mate at any time. No? No, senor. <risa> Muchacho. Lleva este mensaje enseguida. Roberto, Roberto, have you seen Mr. Fleming anywhere? Not in 
did it. I do it on the wedding. I wait for him here. Oh, I'm so afraid he'll miss the boat again. Be a dear boy and go find him quick, will you? Okay. Uh. Senor Fleming. Senor Fleming. Senor. Canceled his reservation. Oh, is he not going? No, he's going on the plane. Huh? Oh, but this is terrible. Well, this cablegram might be important. Well, you're not going to eat What are you doing here? I bring Senorita in taxi. She wants to see you and say goodbye. Hey, what are you talking about? Not Senorita. Please, Senor Fleming. The plane she is going. We cannot wait. Hold it a minute, please. Senor Fleming, he is not going. All the United States is going to buy what? He's going to stay here. See? See, I tell you the truth. Gracias, muchachos. Juanita. You will please take me back. In a hurry. Si, senorita. Oh, wait a minute, Juanita. What's this all about? You came down to see me off and now you're leaving. I don't understand. It is all a mistake. Roberto has told me a lie. He said that you and Senor Cormac are going to fight a duel. Oh, then you were a little bit interested. Naturally. I do not wish to see Senor Cormac get shot. That's a fine thing. I fix it. All right, little fixer, what do I do now? 
You go back to Rosalita and work. All who managed to start is what much. Go to work? Roberto, that's the first logical idea you've had. Work. Why not? And now, may I ride back with you in my taxi cab? But this is my taxi cab. Is that not so, Manuel? Si. No, but you brought me out here to the airport. Si. But I haven't paid you to take me back. Si. But that way you get double fares, one from each of us. Si. No, this is my taxi cab exclusive. Si. But I have priority rights, haven't I? Si. But I insist it is my taxi cab. Si. Si, 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 si. Now, wait a minute. I'll settle this. Gee, gee, it is now Roberto's taxi cab. Get in, Skipper. Roger, senor. You are a fine man. From now on, I'm going to work for you for nothing. Not a chance. I'm afraid even that would be too expensive. Tra la la, and the lady was singing. Tra la la, there's a song in the breeze. Let's rejoice, the laughter is bringing. Lend your voice to the gay harmony. Who can bear with a song that is bringing? Up the scale, do re mi fa sol la. Don't despair, join the frolic and lose your care. There is happiness everywhere. 